Students, please rise and face the center aisle as the faculty and president's party proceed to the stage. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. John McCarran, Chairman of the Department of Electronic Media and Film here at Towson University. Thank you. As Grand Marshal, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the spring commencement exercises for the College of Fine Arts and Communication. Madam President, the university community is assembled for commencement. And it is with great pleasure that I introduce our president, Dr. Maravine Lushke, the 13th president of Towson University. Good afternoon, everyone, and especially to the class of 2013. I welcome, yes, indeed. <laughs> Now, I welcome you to the 148th commencement in this proud history of our university. Today, of course, we celebrate our newest graduates and your significant academic achievements. Oh, my goodness, it has been our pleasure to guide and to mentor you and to be a part of this transformation in your lives. I want you to think back for just a second about the first day you can remember being here. 
Maybe where you parked, going in the student union, your first classes, the first glimpse of your first professors, and what you had in mind and what this journey was going to be like for you, and when in the world you were going to be finished. And look at this, you are here. Congratulations, we are thrilled to have been a part of it. Now, everyone please stand for our national anthem, which we will be led in the singing by Mr. Edward Graves. Yes, indeed. He's graduating today with a Bachelor of Music. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Everyone, please be seated. At this time, we would like to pause for a moment of silence in honor of the faculty, staff, and students who have passed away during this year. Students Kelsey Allen, Devin Spence, Asan Mahmood, and Ryan Bailey. Staff member Larry Long, and those who lost their lives in the Oklahoma tornado. A moment of silence, please. Thank you. The flags on display represent the 29 countries of the 70 international students graduating from Towson University this spring. And also on stage are flags representing the 77 nations of our current total international population of 570 students. We are so pleased to have each and every one of you in our Towson family. As you can see, an education at Towson not only serves our region and the state of Maryland, but also reaches across the nation and around the globe. And in addition to the international flags, you're going to notice a number of graduates and faculty and staff wearing black and gold pins, signifying their support of the Tiger Commencement Pledge. And this pledge is a voluntary commitment by our graduates and faculty and staff to be active in their communities and to work for positive change in social and environmental conditions. Now, I call upon Brandy Hall, our outgoing president of the Student Government Association, to introduce representatives from the university's various boards. Brandy Hall. Good afternoon, Madam President, ladies and gentlemen. We are fortunate this afternoon to welcome University System of Maryland student regent Stephen Hershkowitz. The Board of Regents is a group of respected and prestigious professionals appointed by the governor to oversee quality, affordability, and accessibility to Maryland Institutes of Higher Education. The student regent serves a one-year term as a voting member of the system's governing board. Student Regent Hershkowitz 
is a master's candidate at the University of Maryland College Park in the School of Public Policy with a specialization in education policy. Last May, he received his Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Maryland in government and politics. As an undergraduate, Stephen was a President's Scholarship recipient and a member of several programs, including the Federal Semester and the College Park Scholars, where he won the Outstanding Achievement Award for his Media, Self, and Society Program cohort. In his senior year, he also served as the Student Government Association's Chief of Staff. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Student Regent Stephen Hershkowitz. Thank you, Brandy, for your introduction, and uh, congratulations on a very successful year as student body president and on your graduation. Well, hello and good afternoon, graduates. It is a tremendous privilege to join you and extend best wishes from the University System of Maryland Board of Regents on this important day. I am particularly honored to share this occasion with Dr. Maravine Lushke. Throughout this year, I have learned a great deal about leadership from your university president. Consistently committed to her values, she has been one of the strongest advocates for students that I have come across in our state university system. And for that, I will be forever grateful. Dr. Lushke, thank you for serving as a great teacher and role model for myself, as well as countless other students. I also want to thank the faculty and staff that helped all of you get to this point. Towson University prides itself on the individual attention it provides to every student. This could not be possible without the hard work and dedication of our great faculty members who really make this university the special place that it is. But I often think the unspoken heroes of any university are the staff. We take for granted the clean spaces we learn and live in, and without the staff, who often go unnoticed as they perform the hardest of jobs, this day would absolutely not be possible. We all owe our sincere gratitude to the, to the Towson staff members. It is also a great pleasure to be here in this wonderful new Tiger Arena and to see all of you in here filling it. But most importantly, it is an honor to be here to recognize and congratulate you uh, the College of Fine Arts and Communications class of 2013. What you have accomplished has taken hard work, persistence, and dedication. Make sure to take a moment, even if it's in between dinner with family and celebrating with friends, to truly give yourself credit for getting to this moment. Yes, there were countless people that helped you get to this point in what Newark Mayor Cory Booker so eloquently has called the conspiracy of love. But this really is a special accomplishment. While remaining grounded is incredibly important, it is also essential to recognize and celebrate our successes. And I think this idea of taking moments to really think through the meaning of something is important to hold on to. Reflection is critical to learning new lessons as we continue through the rest of our lives. Yet since buying my iPhone a couple of years ago, and I imagine for many of you out there as well, I have spent significantly more time consuming information and other surface level stimuli and less time reflecting on what it all means. Our increasingly extensive communication systems are great for staying informed and staying connected, but they take away some of those small moments of analytical reflection on the past or fearless dreaming of the future. For those of you who decide to enter the communications or performance fields, understand that you will be coming into an industry with a tremendous amount of power. With people's lives impacted more and more by external messages, we will get to shape the significant extent, a significant extent of reality for our communities. To some degree, this is incredibly exciting and empowering. We can make the world whatever we want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> our imagination is easier and easier to cement in other people's minds. But this power must be checked in certain uncompromising principles, the values that you all have come to learn here at Towson, or from family and friends, or any other mentor that you have come across so far. I speak for the entire university system when I say how proud we are of you and of Towson University. To quote a lyric from my favorite band, The National, we are the heirs to the glimmering world. Congratulations, Towson class of 2013. Thank you, student regent Hershkowitz. 
This afternoon, we are also pleased to have with us two members of the university's Board of Visitors, Mr. Ted Selesky and Mrs. Molly Schock, who will bring greetings on behalf of the university's Board of Visitors. The Board of Visitors is a group of professionals who advise and guide the president. Mrs. Schock is a 1975 graduate of Towson University. She has given generously of her time and talent to the university. Mrs. Schock's late husband, Stephen, received a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration in 1974. After his death in 2002, she and her sons established a scholarship in his memory in the College of Business and Economics and in the College of Liberal Arts. She has served on Towson's Board of Visitors since 2005 and also serves as the president of Towson University Foundation. Please give a warm welcome to Mrs. Molly Schock. Thank you, Brandy. Good afternoon, President Lushke, Provost Chandler, distinguished guests, honored faculty, parents, and graduates. On behalf of the Board of Visitors, I bring you greetings and best wishes. The Board is composed of alumni, business, and civic leaders. We act as a sounding board and advisory panel to the President, and we serve at her pleasure. Our goal, that Towson remains a growing, thriving university. Whether you are here on the four-year plan, the five-year plan, the seven-year plan, the ten-year plan, <laughs> celebrate today, revel in your accomplishments, take pride in your achievements. Look around you and remember your fellow graduates. Look at the campus, especially this building. It is changing and will be changing over the next few years. Be sure to thank your parents family, friends, husbands, wives, children, employers, professors, anyone who helped you achieve your goal, anyone who poked and prodded you and helped you financially and spiritually. Then take the time in the next few days after the celebration is over to think about all of those who came before you, all the students, teachers, and administrators who helped to ensure that Towson offers now what Towson offered over 30 years ago when my husband and I were students, an affordable, accessible, quality education. Then remember all of those who are following you here at Towson. It is up to all of us to make sure that Towson continues to offer an affordable, accessible, quality education. We owe it to our children, our grandchildren, our community, our region, our state, and ourselves. Your reputation rests in Towson, and Towson's reputation rests in you. Knowing that you are a Towson University graduate conveys so much about you, and you convey so much about Towson. Do it with class. Again, on behalf of the Board of Visitors, I congratulate you. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your wonderful day. Thank you, Mrs. Schock. We are also fortunate this afternoon to welcome Mr. Chris Ahern, member of Towson University's Alumni Board, who will bring words of welcome and congratulations from the board and the Alumni Association. Please welcome Mr. Ahern. Good afternoon. As a member of the Alumni Association Board and a proud graduate of the class of 1994, I am honored to be here today representing the more than 133,000 alumni who have graduated from this remarkable institution. Each of these alumni has their own story to tell about the success they have achieved as a result of their education at Towson. My own story would not have been possible without the education, experiences, and connections I made here at Towson. Today, you join 3,444 graduates that make up the class of 2013. 2,684 of you are receiving a bachelor's degree. 742 of you are receiving a master's degree of certificate 
and 18 of you are receiving a doc doctoral degree from Towson University. Your class is 68% female and 32% male. <laughs> the average age of the undergraduate student this year's graduating class is 23 and of graduate students is 30. The youngest graduate in the class of 2013 is Hannah Carr, who is receiving a bachelor's degree in psychology at the age of 19. Our most seasoned graduate is Andrea Gorton, who at the age of 70 is receiving her bachelor's degree in English. Your class represents 24 out of our 50 states, with New Jersey and New York having the largest number of graduates outside of the state of Maryland. And for the record, 206 of you come from New Jersey, and 124 of you come from New York. Nine of you are the sole representatives from your home state. For those of you receiving your master's or doctoral degree today, we know that over 23% of you have also received your bachelor's degree from Towson. So a second congratulations is in order. We know that this class was very engaged and active as a majority of current seniors and graduate students participated in an internship or ex experimental learning project this past semester. Additionally, members of this graduating class were involved in intercollegiate athletics and a variety of co-curricular activities. All this while having an average class GPA of 3.35. We know that most of you will stay here in Maryland after graduation because on average, 73% of TU alumni call Maryland home. Although alumni live in every state across America and 82 countries. Perhaps you will join the nearly 6,000 alumni that married a fellow Towson graduate or that you will become one of our uh, 1,000 alumni who came back to their alma mater in either a faculty or staff position. Whatever path you decide to take, remember, you will always be a part of the growing Towson Alumni Network, and we want you to stay connected with your alma mater. The Towson Alumni Association will help you do this, and we look forward to hearing about your accomplishments and successes. On behalf of the thousands who have preceded you, it is my privilege to congratulate you on your outstanding achievements. Congratulations again on this very special day. And speaking of alumni, if you are indeed sitting in the audience and are an alumni of Towson University and also happen to be a parent or a grandparent of one of these graduates, please stand up. We want to recognize you. That's great. And all Towson alumni stand. Everybody, if you're an alum, not you guys yet. <laughs> I now call upon Brandy Hall, our outgoing president of our Student Government Association, to make some remarks. And after Brandy's remarks, she will then introduce our undergraduate student speaker. I have had the pleasure of working with Brandy this year. It's been one of the highlights of my life. She is an outstanding leader, an amazingly gifted, intelligent woman with a heart of gold. I feel a lot better about our world and our society knowing that Brandy Hall is going to be out there serving the public good. Brandy Hall. Well, here we are. Everyone is going to tell you today that this is the best day of your life so far, and it just might be. And today is also one of our many confirmations to our friends and parents that, hey, we're actually adults now. 
um, whether we like it or not. <laughs> but to me, this day marks the beginning of a beautiful journey. Do you guys remember, just remember today how you feel listening to our 13th president as she confers us to be graduates of Towson. Remember all the excitement and the all-nighters, stress, anxiety, and pure happiness you felt here on campus. Remember these life experiences and promise to pay it forward, to show others the beauty of life, whether it's in a documentary, a work of art, a single photograph, or even a blog. Right now, I would like for all of us to stand and thank our friends, family, professors, and administrators who are with us today, because none of this would have been possible without them. Thanks, guys. I have to personally thank my family from the bottom of my heart for, be, for teaching me the importance to live love with love and happiness. It's been such a hard year and I appreciate my family greatly. To my peers, as this next chapter of life unfolds, keep in mind that we are already destined for great things. Look at what we've already done here at Towson. They're gonna miss us. <laughs> Take chances. Be bold and remember where you come from. We will always be tigers, and today we finally get to earn our stripes. Thank you for everything. Right now, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce our undergrad undergraduate speaker for this afternoon, Ms. Zenas Okonlawan. <laughs> Zenas Okonlawan proclaims to thrive from the blessing of being able to dance every day and to be surrounded by the arts. Since transferring to Towson just three years ago, she has been extremely active in the Department of Dance and credits Towson for shaping her to be both the artist and mentor she seeks for young African artists. Along with performing with major touring dance companies and appearing on television and Broadway, Zenas's true passion is using the arts to touch lives, especially of those who are underprivileged and lack hope in their personal endeavors. This summer, she will be working with an outreach program that brings dance to the DC community while auditioning for performing opportunities. Please give a warm welcome to my peer, Ms. Zenas Okonlawan. Thank you, Brandy Hall, our amazing and fabulous outgoing president of the SGA for that introduction. Good afternoon, President Lusky, Regent Hershkowitz, distinguished guests, honored faculty, family, and fellow graduates. I don't know about you all, but these past few weeks have been rough. <laughs> all of a sudden, this idea of life in the real world like started to hit me, for real. How in the world am I supposed to make a living with a dance degree? I don't know how to do anything but dance. <laughs> I started to feel regrets. I was just a hot mess. But thank God for Sister Mary Clarence. One of my all-time favorite movies is Sister Act Two. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's a scene where Rita is walking down the street and Sister Mary Clarence stops her and says, if you wake up in the morning and you can't think anything but singing first, then you're supposed to be a singer, girl. My life has always been guided by this idea of purpose, destiny. I make decisions based on how that event can either help or hurt my ultimate goal. Purpose begins with that feeling that you just can't go a day without creating sketches or doing plies in your bathroom or being super dramatic about the simple things or making up stories, or turning every conversation into a song. Once you feel that feeling, you do something about it. And we all did something about that feeling because we're all here, striving to perfect our gifts, to fuel our dreams. None of us are leaving here dry. Our 
pockets may be dry, but in terms of what we know, we are dripping with information. And the only thing we are still hungry for is the next course of the meal of life. So as we are moving on, there are three things I believe can aid our journey. The first is to know your worth. Each of us are as valuable as precious jewels. You matter, and there is no price that can match your worth. Understand that you are extremely rare because there is only one you, and there will only ever be one you. The specific combination of attributes that make you the artist that you are, and that make you the writer that you are, and that make me the dancer that I am, can never ever be found in the exact same way in another human being. Once you know your worth, you can act upon your amazingness. Know that you are amazing. I dare you to start living your life like it's golden because people will address you depending on the way you carry yourself. The opportunities I have been given here at Towson are not really a result of my capabilities because I truly don't deserve these things. But I value integrity and honesty and I carry myself in a manner that says I am comfortable in my imperfections. Yet, I still strive for excellence in all I do. And people notice excellence. It doesn't matter how small or unimportant a task may seem, that task still deserves utmost attention. Be amazing at the little things so that you can be entrusted with the larger things. And speaking of larger things, understand that there is a world beyond you. Whether you believe it or not, your dreams and your actions affect more than just you. My third and last challenge to you is to live a life that will be worth something tomorrow. In other words, leave a legacy. American preacher Francis Chan says, our greatest fear should not be a failure, but at succeeding in things in life that don't really matter. Things that matter leave a mark. Every time I feel weak or inadequate, I think about the amazing legacy my mother left behind when she passed away in 1999. She was the most generous person I knew. She was truly a woman of virtue. She wasn't even 40 years old when she died, but the life she lived and the years that she was here on earth is still impacting me today. It is crucial that as you dream and strive to live a comfortable, enjoyable life, Consider the next generation. Dream so that someone 15 years from now can live in your dream. Class of 2013, let me tell you, we started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> Fellow graduates, get your life. Be alive, be present, and just get your life. I just want to thank God for his amazing grace on my life. His grace is sufficient where I am completely inadequate. I thank the fabulous professors I met here at Towson, and especially the dance department faculty. You have completely changed my life. Thank you to my beautiful peers and all the wonderful people I met here. I don't regret a minute of it. And to my fantastic family, you all are the absolute best. I love you so much. Graduates, I will see you at the top. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Okan Kalan. I hope I said that right. I apologize if I didn't. Good afternoon. I am Zachary Miklas, Vice President of the Graduate Student Association. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce the graduate student, sp student speaker, Ms. Lisa Marie Provenzano Wozniki, who is graduating with a Master of Science in Music Education. Lisa Wozniki was born and raised in Baltimore. She holds Bachelor of Science degrees in English Literature and Music from Towson University and a Master of Library Science from the University of Maryland, College Park. Today, she will receive her Master of Science degree in Music Education. Since 2001, Lisa has been a research and instruction librarian at the Albert S. Cook Library at Towson University, where she works as the library liaison to the departments of dance, music, and theater arts. Before coming to Towson University, 
Lisa worked for the Baltimore County Public Library System, as well as Baltimore County Public Schools. She is a member of the Golden Key Honor Society and Beta Phi Mu, the International Library Science Honor Society. Please welcome Ms. Wozniacki. Thank you, Zachary Miklos, Vice President of the Graduate Student Association for that lovely introduction. Good afternoon, President Lusky, Regent Herskowitz, distinguished guests, honored faculty, family, and my fellow graduates. Today, I am graduating with the second of two degrees in music, and this journey has been the dream of a lifetime for me. My path is not the typical one followed by my fellow students. These last two degrees were started well after I thought my university days were finished and while I was busy with the career, raising two children, and running a house. The experiences I have had during this journey made me reflect on what I have learned about life while here at Towson. Today I would like to share with you my Towson life lessons. As a young woman, I dreamed of completing an undergraduate degree in music but I was persuaded to change my major, a decision which haunted me for most of my adult life. I went on to finish a degree in English literature and later a master's degree in library science, got married, had two children, and established a public library career. But the idea of getting those music degrees would not go away. For my love of music links my soul to the universe, and this relationship could no longer be denied. The 9-11 tragedy brought me back to Towson and taught me the first of my Towson life lessons. There is no tomorrow. Your future begins today. Make the most of it and work hard as you can to achieve those goals and finish the tasks that matter to you the most, for you may not be granted the luxury of a tomorrow. It is never too late to repurpose your life and make changes. You are never too old to learn something new, change your lifestyle, or work hard to achieve a goal. And if, like me, you attempted once and failed, don't be deterred. If you learn from your mistakes and you try again, your chances of success will exponentially increase. I have found through my time here at Towson that the accomplishments that matter to us the most are the ones for which we have fought the hardest. Every one of you has faced your own challenges, yet you endured, and here you are today. Like many, I was stretched to my limit, working full-time, attending class part-time, studying and practicing the piano late at night when the rest of the world, it seemed, was asleep, getting by myself on just a few hours of sleep each night. But I adapted and I learned this lesson. When we are pushed to try harder, no matter how weary we are, we somehow reach inside ourselves and find that we can give just a little bit more. For it is when we are tested that we grow the most and we forge our character. We leave Towson University today stronger than when we entered, and the world, as we will encounter it, will benefit from our strength. Working on this last degree here at Towson, I have realized the most important life lesson of all. Your life journey is not a static entity. There is no perfect time in our lives for momentous events to occur. We cannot plan the timing of what will or won't happen to us in life and bend the universe to fit our will. Your life journey is an organic thing, like a tree or a stream, and you will need to be flexible and grow as it takes you wherever you are meant to be. Never miss an unexpected opportunity that pushes you beyond your comfort zone, for when you look back, you will find that those experiences became the milestones within your path. Today, like everyone walking across the stage, there are people I need to thank. I wish to thank Mary and Chris of the music department, yes, who listened to my dreams and helped me create a plan to make them a reality. 
I thank my teacher, Dr. Lawrence Crawford, whose belief in my abilities and talents never wavered, even on those dark days when I lost faith in myself. I thank my family, who sacrificed in so many ways to allow me the time, financial support, and energy to pursue my degrees. And thank you to my father, who instilled in me at an early age the self-discipline and strong work ethic that have made me the person I am today. Dad, as you look down on me this afternoon, I hope now you understand that I had to follow the path in life that I forged for myself and that ultimately you are proud of what I have achieved. Congratulations and good luck on the next part of your journey, College of Fine Arts and Communication, class of 2013. Thank you. Thank you to all three of these students for representing all of our students so beautifully. Commencement really is one of our favorite times, if not the favorite time on this campus. All of the faculty and staff and administrators just love this day. We love celebrating it with you. We love you having your success and being a part of it. But there are many here today who share in your accomplishments, and there is one particular group we want to recognize right now. We have one of the finest graduating classes in Maryland in fine arts and communications because we have one of the finest faculties assembled anywhere. I had the privilege of serving with this faculty for many years, and I have to tell you, I don't know of a more artistically, scholarly, gifted group assembled anywhere. Will the faculty of COFAC please stand up and let us thank you for our education. Also joining me on stage today are leaders of the university, those responsible for facilitating our academic and student programs, and through their own dedication and expertise, are just so happy about your success. Now, you may not see each of them each day or all a lot, it's the same way you do faculty and the, and the staff, but I can tell you they are dedicated each and every day to you. Now, I'm gonna ask these individuals to stand. We're gonna hold all the applause until the end, but first of all, we have the vice presidents of the university and members of the leadership team, the dean of the Honors College, the dean of the College of Fine Arts and Communication, the dean of university libraries, the associate dean of the college, members of the Board of Visitors, the Alumni Association, the University Senate, the American Association of University Professors, the Towson University staff, Council, and members of the Student Government and the Graduate Student Association. What a group. Working with them every day is pure joy. Thank you. You can see we're a university of thank yous. But I would also like to thank the faculty members who are serving as student marshals and faculty readers today. Now what they've been doing is they've been helping to robe you, they've been fanning you in the hallways, they've been asking you to stay calm and patient, they had safety pins and lifesavers and all that kind of stuff. They volunteered for this because they wanted to be a very immediate part of the ceremony. Uh, we want to thank them because it's usually, like is that with our family at Towson, it's that extra effort that you see everywhere. Faculty and student marshals, please stand up. And thank you. There are over a hundred people who have worked on this particular ceremony. There's the commencement committee, of course. There are students, facilities, police, bus drivers, grounds crew, food services, photographers, event staff, custodians, parking, and volunteers. And then there's another group that got this building ready for us to be in today. This time last week, we weren't going to be in this building. That wasn't going to be possible. 
And all of the folks centered around getting this building ready said, oh, yes, you are. And here we are. Let's thank all both of those groups. Now, graduates, we know perfectly well that there are those who helped you along this journey. So we're going to recognize them in two groups. Lights up, please. The first group are the mothers, the fathers, the grandparents, and great-grandparents of these students. Stand up and let them thank you. Nice going. Now, you all may sit down, but then we have to thank the brothers, sisters, spouses, partners, sons, daughters, friends, the aunts, uncles, everybody else. Madam President, this concludes the undergraduates from the College of Fine Arts and Communication and all Now, if I may, please just have one more minute because I want to say to the class that I ask that sometime this weekend, amidst all of your joy, that you sit a little quietly and reflect about how the world is going to be better because you just got this amazing education. How are you going to make positive change as an artist, as a communicator, as a filmmaker, as an actor, how are you going to do that? This uncertain world needs you very dearly. The arts particularly are the conscience of our society, and you carry that now with you forever to represent that in your work and in your professions. We need your leadership, your passion. We need your vision, your civility, your empathy. And as a president here, who at one time sat out there many years ago as a theater major in this very commencement, <laughs> and later as a master's student in this commencement, I send you forward with the deepest pride and respect and love and gratitude for everything you have given to Towson and will continue to do in her honor. Now all bachelor's degrees, stand up for a second. Stand up. As a symbol, as a symbol of your recent graduation and your new status, please now move the mortarboard tassel from the right to the left. Now, everyone, please stand and join Mr. Graves in the singing of Marilyn, My Marilyn. The words are on page 63.
president her party the faculty and graduates will now begin the recessional i would ask that members of the audience be seated until all have left the arena uh, the guests can then join their graduates outside in the towson arena courtyard again we offer our best wishes and congratulations to the class of 2013 graduates you have done it it's over put a fork in it you are finished <laughs>